Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India This is what we have seen. Now let us see what happens as a rapid change in temperature. So now you will not allow it to equalize. You are going to bring it suddenly. Question is when can you have a situation when rapid changes in temperature can occur? When you do not give time. So you have your airship in a nice air conditioned uh, hangar and take out suddenly. It will take some time for it to stabilize. During that time what will happen? That is what we will see now. Similarly, you are flying the airship and suddenly it starts raining. Suddenly you encounter very cold conditions. So during the time when the whole envelope cools down to the ambient condition, it will take during that time this will be applicable. Similarly, if you are flying on a cold weather. So, in the long distance or long endurance flight, the airship can encounter situations where there is a sudden change in temperature without giving the time for the equilibrium to take place. During these cases, there will be a change in the gross and let lift, let us see. So you can look at this problem from two angles. One angle will be there is a change in the gross lift. So let us recall that delta Lg or the change in the gross lift is Ps times 1 by T a2 minus 1 by ta1 times kv this we have seen last time so the net lift difference i am repeating again is the gross lift difference and the bollinger wave difference okay i am showing it in same thing as delta lg and delta wba now delta wba is equal to 0 in this case because there is no time available for the system to respond and the bollinger air to go out okay if you give time then of course system will go into equilibrium but right now w so therefore the net lift change will be equal to the gross lift change so the net lift so there will be a change in the lift this is like you are not allowing the system to respond and suddenly temperature has changed so therefore net lift will change it will become 1 upon ta2 minus 1 upon ta1 now what will happen will it reduce or increase if you go to a cold place If T A two is less than T A one, hmm? what is it? Increase. If you go to a cold place, it will increase. Why? If T A two is less than T A one, hmm. okay, right. One more way of looking at the whole thing is that subjecting an airship to sudden change in the temp ambient temperature is like giving it a sudden superheat or super cooling depending on whether you are going into a hot place or a cool place okay so from that angle look uh, look the expression is there will be a tsh one comp component there so now what we will do is we will assume that ta is constant but there is superheat applied now initially the airship is at ta1 and suddenly it goes at T A 2. Therefore, that delta T S H 1 will be 0 to start with and that will be suddenly T A 1 minus T A 2. You can consider it as 0 superheat when you are flying and suddenly you are exposed to a superheat of T A 1 minus T A 2 because temperature has become T A 2 from T A 1. Put then the expression. So, you will uh, you will uh, put it as 1 upon T A 2 plus 0 and 1 upon and ultimately you will get the same expression. So, whether you look at it as sudden superheat or you look at it as instantaneous change in T A, the expressions are the same. See, physics will not change just because how you take it. Physics will remain the same. There will be a change in the net lift. But over a period of time, when T A 1 and T A 2 equalize, there will be no change in the net lift which is the situation for 
uh, slow change in temperature. Okay. So, for a sudden shock change in temperature, there will be a change in the net lift, for a gradual change, the change is 0.